Hyper and Atempa Designers, there is a new section, Jewelry. You can find earrings, rings, gems, and necklaces and bracelet sections here. Together, there's 80 different new templates. I'm super excited to discover them with you. And um, you can see there's a lot of different styles. Let's take a necklace to design today. I'm going to take this template with a crystal and two chains. And the first thing you will see that you can actually drag the sliders to remove the body and separate sliders will remove the jewelry. So you can decide whatever you want for your presentation, whether you just want to focus on the necklace and just display it or use a look with body. So I'm going to leave only the chains and I will start by um, making the opacity less. And I'm starting on the first layer and I will take a color for gold. I'm going to be using this brush, um, small size. And I think I want to make it yellow gold so I can do different things like start looking for some colors from the mm, palettes. But I think I will actually have to pin a picture where I've um, collected uh, a few swatches of gold colors and I've applied them as a picture to my uh, background so I will be just color dropping and adding here and saving these colors to my custom palette that means next time I'm going to draw another jewelry I'm going to use exactly same colors and therefore um, colors of gold that I use throughout my entire collection are going to be uniform. So I need to start by filling in these small beads and I'm thinking that I can do it a few ways. I can actually start filling in this way. But I have an idea of... Maybe I can try and use a dotted line option for it. So I will select this line and just simply like fill in with one tap and a little bit of a drag each um, bead. I think it's going to be faster. Perfect, and now I want to change the color. So again, I will take a color pick tool and take a darker color, add it to my custom palette. And I will start adding a small shadow to each bead with a same, same way with this um, dotted line. And I'm using a smudge tool to um, give it a very soft, um, like smudge it, give it a soft touch. I'm giving this uh, circular motion around the dot for each bead. So I want to give a very small, deep shadow to make it more shiny and less plasticky looking. And for that I took uh, a switch tool to a small ball pen to have the dot smaller. And the same goes for the highlight. 
I'm using white color to create the small dots on the other side where the light source is from the left top corner. And this is actually right, um, quite an effective way to start an illustration to um, present your idea in a very fast and efficient way because you, if you start um, drawing such a necklace from scratch, honestly, it's going to take a lot of time to give it like a really realistic look. But if you want to deliver your idea um, really quickly, you can use the template as I am using it right now, I am not even going to remove it. I will leave it like this semi-transparent and just kind of color the template. So it's extremely easy this way to um, show your idea, to present your idea in a nice way. It's time to move on to the other chain and I will do a simple coloring. So I'm changing the line to a freehand and I'm starting on a new layer. So I want to disturb the first chain. I'm going to grab a bigger size, change the marker and just quickly swipe across and what I want to do is just to um, color one side of this chain right until the middle and then I will um, mirror my finished drawing to the other side so I'm actually going to work only on a half of this chain So one side done coloring, but I need to add some um, lights and darks. And I'm just randomly dropping these highlight like in the middle of the link, each of the vertical links. So I'm using my own palette of colors that I've extracted from the photo. And you can see that both chains, they have the same shades of yellow. I don't need like 10 of them, just uh, five, four. And I'm going to use them throughout my illustrations. And I'm adding some highlights with white color. So here I have these chains on separate layers and I took one more layer to add the connections between the beads. I'm using the straight line option to do that. Just to make them more visible and thicker. Okay, and it's time to take the other chain and use scissors tool. Select one side and then mirror it to the other side. I feel like it doesn't quite fit, so I'll use my hands to zoom in and out and change the angle slightly to make it perfect okay that looks great and now i can focus on the crystal so i'll add one more layer tap on the plus select that new layer and i will start using this marker, um, flat marker, and I will find a color of emerald. Maybe this one is more suitable and I'll fill in the entire surface. Okay. 
and I will need a lighter color because the thing with crystals is that the light passes through the stone and somewhere inside it creates this beautiful um, beautiful light trapped inside the stone so I will take the same color but much lighter version of it a watercolor brush and I will add this light within the stone so it like glows from within in one area and another area will have a shadow but there's also a light on the surface of the crystal which is going to be from the side where the light falls which is left top and I'm just trying to find the best way to show it so it will stop on this um, facets and I'm just trying to make the facets that face the light much lighter so this is the idea maybe I will need white color to add even more reflections but this is like the light that's on the surface of the facets I'm just making each have different amount of light based on the shape of the stone and white color to give this um, bright reflected light bright reflections here the light hit the stone and like bounces off the surface and this is how it would look like you can add some of these um, round um, light but I think I will do without it so I want to increase this glowing effect and I'm using also a smudge tool to make it um, not so obvious so I need also a dark parts of the stone to emphasize the shadow on the facets and I'm using this dark green color so I'm applying some shadows to the other facets that are not in the light to the bottom ones and erasing the excess I think that looks good just want to fix these few lines so time to color this picture on a new layer I will take um, one of my custom colors and just add this last feature this wire is actually inside the stone and I don't know if there's any transparency to the drawing that I made of the crystal so I will color it and try to drag this layer under the drawing of the crystal and see if it shows through if it does okay if it doesn't that's also fine and I just want to color these last wires So I thought of erasing it, but I wanted to first drag the layer yeah, and try and check. Yeah, it's not going to show anyway. Well, okay. So this is how the final um, drawing of the necklace would look like. I'm just adding a some small touches of gold. and I'm happy with the way it looks I need to 
uh, hide the layer with my swatches and I can use next if I want to I'll create one more layer and experiment with how my illustration would look like so I'll go to the custom face colors palette and pick a light color because I want it to look like it's uh, semi-transparent I use a watercolor brush and I'm not really painting skin but like suggesting that it's on a human and just want to give like a little transparent wash of a skin color so this is a way to present the illustration it's very beautiful So I can hide it and see without the background and with the background, I'm going to leave it as is. And um, yeah, this is the final illustration. Um, one thing to tell you is that sharing is easier now from illustration, JPEG PDF project file. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel.